today. Princess of Wands, because there's passionate little messages coming into you to the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands offering you all kinds of juiciness. All kinds of juiciness. With judgment, you got to make a decision. The decision that you make in this particular situation will directly dictate the rest of your future. It will. It will, it will directly dictate the rest of your future. That's how important this decision is. That's why we have a bazillion major arcanas all over this board, okay? This is a life-altering decision for Taurus. Hey, Taurus, what's up? It's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. Oh, man, I did it. No, this is the Gypsy Psychic now. It's the Gypsy Psychic. It used to be Deep Thoughts with Dana, and it's still Deep Thoughts with Dana, but it is entitled the Gypsy Psychic. So welcome to the Gypsy Psychic, not Deep Thoughts with Dana. Welcome to the Gypsy Psychic. Had to do a name change for a variety of reasons, okay? So I have already poker shuffled these cards and swirled these cards all around. So I'm just going to chat with y'all for a second and get myself settled in, get myself connected. And um, it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'll pray. I'll lay out 15 cards. I'll clarify it. And then I'll go back to the top and read it as the story. All right. General reading for the sign of Taurus. I have a vested interest in what happens here because I'm a Taurus sun. Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, but a Taurus sun, right? So let's see what has to shake down. This could have already happened. It could be happening, or it could be foresight as to what is about to happen. So take it with a grain of salt, okay? It's a general reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. It has to do with the planetary placements. And everybody is so different in their charts. Everybody has so many different planets in their charts. That's why your thread is the journey of your own life. Because even this is even though this is for Taurus, right? All of us who have Taurus suns watch this, but if I have a Pisces moon and you have a Sagittarius moon, the placement of the sun in Taurus and the placement of those other planets are going to dictate the outcome of situations, right? So it's imperative to get your cards right if you need any kind of confirmation, wisdom, guidance, understanding, or clarification about anything that you see in anyone's general tarot card reading, okay? Let's get started, all right? I'm going to tell y'all what I always tell y'all. I want you to snuggle up, sit down, get you a blanket, put your feet up, get you something to eat, something to drink, or something to smoke, and hunker down because we're fixing to drop some tarot cards for Taurus, okay? Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. And Taurus wants to know what you know. Spirit, what do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know about themselves? What's coming towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to look out for? What does Taurus need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is you're going to say in these cards. I'm going to shuffle a few more times. I'll cut three times, and I'll begin to pull straight off the top. Please arrange yourself in the order by which you need to be seen. Boom, right there, that's the spot. Bottom of the deck, the lovers, what? What? All right. First card out, nine of swords in upright. Lots of anxiety, lots of despair. Six of cups in reverse, stuck in the past. Um, unrealistic, unrealistic to reunite or reconcile with someone from your past. Upset about things not going right in the home. The four of swords, betrayal, deception trying to get away with something. Let's see, betrayal, deception, trying to get away with something. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Angry, salty, withdrawn, 
the Prince of Swords communication. The Four of Swords, contemplating what your next move is going to be. The Moon in Reverse, repressed emotions, dealing with repressed emotions, releasing fear. The Two of Cups in the center of your spread. What? Two of Cups. So, love, relationship. Love, unif some kind of unified, some kind of important, special relationship in your life, okay? To the Seven of Wands is a challenge. The Alchemist in reverse, an inability to manifest, potential maybe. The Princess of Wands, exploration, discovery, excitement, dating, finding out new things. The Ten of Pentacles, future, foundation. To the Four of Wands, structure, foundation, stability, harmony, in your life, the Six of Swords, transition, rite of passage, the Five of Wands, conflict, internal, external, new beginning with the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the High Priestess, death in reverse, personal transformation, Ten of Swords in reverse, resurrection, Two of Pentacles, prioritization, let's see, the Emperor in reverse, to the chariot and the king of pentacles what the heck king of wands in reverse three of swords in reverse two of wands in reverse to the queen of pentacles the hierophant in reverse choices seven of cups empress we're stopping with the empress because the ten of wands comes next and this ten of wands is the king of swords in reverse and strength in reverse right nine of wands in reverse which we already cover right here okay so it's just repeating all right all right let's do this you guys holy schmoly this is going to be a good one i don't know what's going on here but i'm excited to find out a couple of things you have to know about me before we get started okay i'm probably going to swear I am. I'm probably going to swear. Um, I can be inappropriate at times. And you're going to see me smoke my vape. And if any of this offends you, now is the time to hang hard left because it's my house. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And if you don't like it, you can go. And if you want to stay and be cool, we can read. All right. Let's read. All right, you guys, let me figure this out. This is where it's probably going to start fast forwarding and um, I'll see you as soon as I'm done. Okay. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on. Okay, this is what's going on. So you open up with the nine of swords, right? This is anxiety and despair in the head, right? Just anxiety and despair in the head. Um, why? Because there is some communication coming into you with the knight of swords right here and the prince of swords right here, right? There is communication coming into you, but you are um, with the world in reverse. You're in a process of closing out a cycle of your life, okay? And you're doing it. It's it's not. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not. A, um, a, a once. It's not the major arcana upright saying this is one cycle of your life that is closing, whether you like it or not. And a new cycle of your life is beginning. This is a self improvement kind of cycle, right? You have done some work, and you have you have um, done some work. And you're in the process of a self-imposed cycle closure in your life. And then in comes some kind of communication that just puts you in the mental with the Nine of Swords, right? It's just like, oh my God, no, right? What's it about? Well, it's about the Six of Cups in reverse to the Six of Wands. The Six of Cups in reverse is telling me in a variety of different ways, because I just clarified this whole reading, right? This Six of Cups in Reverse is telling me that something that was sour from the past is now representing itself for victory, progress, and success in the future, okay? Whatever that might be for you, bear with me. 
the five of swords five of swords is shady behavior the five of swords is betrayal deception trying to get away with something mind games win it all costs kind of energy win it all costs to the world card right this is the world card upright and this is saying now it's time for a cycle closure you understand because you did so much work on your own to try to implement your own cycle closure that you were learning the behavior patterns and the lessons that you're supposed to be learning to get you to where you need to go in life right and spirit comes in with the world and says yes child <laughs> yes my child you're you you have earned this we are going to offer to you on a silver bladder the closure of one life cycle in the beginning of a new life cycle it's card number 21 of the major arcana okay that means that in this particular phase of your life that you're coming out of right now you have learned all of the lessons of the major arcana okay in this particular situation and now it's time to graduate with the world card and close this cycle of your life out and begin a new cycle of your life okay the world card clarified the five of swords the five of swords i don't quite know how to pinpoint that yet in this spread but it's just shady fuckery right it's just some kind of fuckery that is the reason that something went sour in the past okay some kind of fuckery is the reason that something went sour in the past but now this situation is presenting itself again and wanting victory and progress and spirit comes in with the world clarifying the fuckery and saying um this is you're you're done here your job here taurus is done that's what the world card is saying queen of swords in reverse salty angry seven of wands in reverse given up on the whole situation right salty angry had given up on the entire situation and lo and behold here comes some communication that is in conjunct and also interfering with your new turnover right and spirit says number one with the world card this is a cycle closure what that means is yet to be determined right but it is a cycle closure number two um it talks we have two world cards here in it and two knight of swords right so it does give me an impression of um movement okay movement quick movement towards you you towards someone a situation um change for sure okay so there's a situation that has presented itself that is changing okay and taurus is like ah i can't do it i can't do it queen of swords in reverse you're still salty about something okay and you had done give up on this whole thing you've done just given up on the whole thing Prince of Swords. What is this all about? Well, Prince of Swords right here and the Prince of Swords right here. It's about communication that is coming into you, quickly coming into you. Educated, intelligent communication, not love communication, not let's start a business communication, not what's the bank account look like communication. This is fast moving mental energy that is coming in to you and it's putting you in a in a mind fuck with the nine of swords causing you with the four of swords to contemplate what your next move is going to be the the wounded warrior some people call him right but um um this guy is resting on his I don't know, maybe a coffin, what was supposed to be his coffin. And he's made it home from three battles already, but he still has one sword by his side. And what he's saying is that I've made it. I've made it. I, I have war wounds to show, but you know what? I'm still ready for another battle. I'm, I'm not down for the count. I'm ready. What What is my next move in this situation? That's why Taurus is in the nine of swords, right? In the head. Okay. Remember I told you all a while ago that um you're probably going to see me smoke my vape. This is that time. If you don't like it, look the other way. 
So the Four of Swords contemplating in a defensive posture again, second time, what your next move is going to be. To the Hanged Man in Reverse, Resistance, Stalling, Delays, the Hermit in Reverse, Isolation, Loneliness, Withdrawal, Coming Out of the Hermit Energy, and Death in Reverse, three major arcana, three. That's what you're thinking about. That is what is assisting your thinking in the Four of Swords. What is my next move going to be? Why? Well, look at that. We just got the Queen of Cups and the Devil. Because you're in love with somebody that is no good for you. <laughs> That's what those cards say. I'm sorry, but it is. It's what the cards say. You got the feels for someone that ain't no good for you. Hmm. Hmm. Some communications coming in. This person wants to change things. Somehow, some way. It could be work. Could be family. Could be. It's a general reading. I don't know. So the hangman in reverse, resistance, stalling, and delays to the hermit in reverse. That's what I want to know right here, spirit. What is the hermit in reverse? What is the hermit in reverse about? The eight of swords. Okay, so you're coming out of your head in the hermit. Okay, so you're coming out of hermit energy. All right, so what this is saying is that Taurus... Um, freaks out for a second, okay? Taurus freaks out for a second and goes into the Four of Swords, contemplating what your next move is going to be to the hangman in reverse, right? Resistance, delays, stalling. You need some time to process what has just happened up here, okay? You need some time to process and plan. Tauruses are planners. We are. We will sit and think on something for months before we actually pull the trigger, and then when we pull the trigger, everybody's like, you're just, you just came out of nowhere with that. Where did that even come from? And you're like, what are you talking about, bro? I've been doing, I've been thinking about this for six months. Now I'm executing the decision, right? So Taurus is freaking out and we need to pull back and regroup for a second. Okay. The hermit in reverse. What are you thinking about? What's going on in the hermit in reverse is the eight of swords in your head thinking how it is that you are going to handle a situation, right? And the hermit in reverse is you coming out of the soul searching head space, right? And, 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 and understanding something, okay? Death in reverse. Personal transformation. A personal transformation. Let's see. I want to see about this. What is death in reverse? What is death in reverse? The Ten of Cups in reverse. So, resistant change. Whew, to the Ten of Cups in reverse. To the upright. Oh my God. All right. What the hell? Wow, this is huge. To the fucking Four of Swords again. I cannot make this up. What the hell is happening right here? Oh my goodness. Okay. I have to wrap my mind around this, you guys. I just got to wrap my mind around this. So you just sit with me. Let me feel these cards for a minute because this is something big and I don't understand it. So hold on just a second. Got the whole top row. I have no doubts about anything in the whole top row. Four of Swords. Now you have to contemplate in a defensive posture what your next move is going to be. Reiterated by the Four of Swords again. You have to contemplate in a defensive posture what your next move is going to be. Not offensive, not dodging, going. Okay? So you have some kind of big decision to make right here. Hanged Man in Reverse. Um, you know... Okay, so if I if this were your own personal reading, okay, this hanged man in reverse would be a message of the major arcana for you, okay? This message is resist. Resist, delay. Do not make any kind of decision in this situation based off of emotions because it's Pisces, right? The hanged man. Um, don't make any decisions. Resist and delay. 
But what this card is telling me Taurus is doing is buying time. The Hermit in Reverse. Buying time until you have to come out of the cold and give an answer. What are you doing in the Hermit? You're trying to find your answer, right? Death in Reverse talks about a personal transformation. What's the personal transformation? Well, you went from the Ten of Cups in reverse, right? You went from a breakup, a broken home, a broken family, broken harmony, a lack of, of emotional fulfillment in the Six of Cups in reverse, remember? Because there was fuckery that caused the Six of Cups in reverse. This Six of Cups in reverse and this Ten of Cups in reverse is the same thing. And death in reverse represents your personal transformation right here, the world in reverse, a self-imposed personal closure, right? This death in reverse represents your personal transformation that you have undergone since all of this took place. And now it's coming back and presenting itself again, right? Hence the 10 of pentacles. This is your future that we're talking about right here. The decision that you make in this situation directly has to do with your sense of security and your future and your pentacles. Clarified by the Four of Swords in reverse again. I'm sorry, the Four of Swords upright again, right? This is contemplating. Third time you're being told to contemplate in a defensive posture. What does that mean? It means that you need to make some moves. You need to be strategic about how you handle this situation. You need to have some foresight. Look on down the road. Look to the past and evaluate a situation with absolute clarity and decide what it is you're going to do. Don't let this situation happen to you. You happen to this situation, okay? Even though it's a sudden change, you gotta be on your game, Taurus. Take a minute, take a minute, but be very careful about how you proceed forward, okay? the best stuff. Real cane sugar, cherry, vanilla, soda. All right. The moon in reverse. Repressed emotions. Two of cups in the center of your reading. Two of cups in the center of your reading talking about love, a love relationship. A significant relationship, okay? Significant. The moon in reverse, talking about <sighs> seeing things clearly. It's clarified by the Ace of Wands, an inspired new beginning, to the Eight of Wands, communication, inspiration, movement, action, and swift change in the realm of fire energy, which is the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands, being inspiration and um, the things that stir your soul, right? So there is talk of a passionate, inspired new beginning. Lots of talk with the Eight of Wands flying back and forth, movement, action, and swift change. Queen of Cups in reverse, and it makes you feel a little emotionally insecure. Sets you off your game just a little bit. I think because it's happening so quickly, right? Just sets you off your game a little bit. I'm going to back up real quick. The Six of Cups in reverse, this could be your previous experience in relationships, okay? It doesn't have to be a relationship coming back around. I want to clarify that. It doesn't have to be a relationship coming back around. This could be a new relationship coming into you, moving very, very quickly and freaking you out because your previous experience was the Six of Cups in reverse, right? Didn't work. It just didn't work. Interesting. Either way, you're emotionally insecure, right? 
with the Queen of Cups in reverse. And then the Hierophant comes on top of it, the card of Taurus, and talks about, it's interesting that the Hierophant is number five, because five is about instability and change, but it's also about stability coming from the change. Very interesting number, right? So the Hierophant comes in. This talks about um, commitment. This talks about everything that you believe to be good and right and proper in your life. This talks about spiritual growth. And you have grown, okay? You have grown with the Hierophant. The Ten of Cups, so commitment to the Ten of Pentacles, happiness, everything you've ever wanted to the Five of Wands. But there's conflict, there's conflict. Why is there conflict? Because I think you've outgrown this person and your life has gone in a different direction and you've outgrown this person. So there's conflict, right? Why? Why is there conflict? Well, Queen of Cups, because you are in love with the devil. <laughs> you have an attachment that is a restriction to your growth right here. This devil is resurfacing in your life. If this is a new relationship for you, this devil is your shadow self that keeps you from being able to engage in this situation, okay? If this is someone that's coming back from your past, they're back, they're back, they're back. And why? Well, because you're growing, <laughs> because you're growing, right? The dark side, the light side, and then the gray in the middle, right? When you start to move, pops, oh, rip Snickers, by the way, he might be having Snickers passed on right before Christmas. Bless his heart. He was old. It's okay. Um, Poppy, no, it's just pops. So this attachment that's restricting your growth um, is, your, the growth is that you are growing. You're growing. And when you have, you have the dark side, you have the light side, and then you have the gray in between, right? And everybody in the gray in between, they're not a problem. And when they start to go towards the enlightenment side, now you're a problem for this side over here. And the powers that be, because it's all spiritual warfare, I'm here to tell you that, the powers that be, have to do something about you now. So what do they do? They're going to send a stumbling block in your path. That's what they're going to do. They're going to send a stumbling block in your path that is going to distract you from the magnetic pull that you feel to enlightenment. Okay. So that is the attachment that is the restriction to your growth. It is somebody or something in your life that you have a lot of feelings about a lot of feelings about. That's the conflict. And you feel this intuitively inside of you with the Hierophant, right? I always think of the Hierophant as Taurus's own high priestess, right? Um, you feel this intuitively inside of you. you. You truly do. Two of Cups is what's on offer in the center of your reading. Two of Cups, a unified relationship of some significance. Okay, whether it's work or whatever, this whole thing can be about work. It absolutely can be. Okay, you're challenged. What's the challenge with the Seven of Wands? Well, the Chariot moving forward, the Judgment card in reverse, bad decisions, hold off on a decision, death and ending a change, a transformation to the Page of Cups, messages of transformation. Okay, to the Empress which would be you, the two of cups in reverse, an imbalance, the page of swords, communication, and the eight of wands, lots of it from the devil. Okay, what is this saying? Well, what this is saying, what this is saying is the chariot, okay? The chariot is the vehicle by which you, the lesson in the, in the major arcana, the life lessons, right? By which you go to your next destination. Okay. Once you learn and then you, you have the, the, the self control, the willpower, the determination to take the actions that are necessary 
to achieve success, right? You've come to that conclusion in the card of the chariot. That's what takes you to the next lesson, okay? In every life cycle, okay? So the chariot is saying, have you thought about this? Do you really want to go forward with this? Have you put in the self-control, the determination, and the willpower to take the actions necessary to achieve success? Have you thought about this all the way through before you take some action in the chariot? That's the challenge, right? Because it's clarifying the seven of wands. It's clarifying the challenge for you, Taurus, is to check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's the meaning of that chariot card right here. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Judgment in reverse. Bad decisions. If anything, decide not to decide right here at this particular moment. That was also your advice back there, right? Hesitancy, resistance. Judgment in reverse is a bad decision though. It is. It's a decision not in your favor, okay? Two, death in the Page of Cups. The messages that are coming in to you are about transforming this particular situation or this particular aspect of your life. Okay, Spirit says, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Don't make a bad decision, right? Because you're getting messages about a transformation. The alchemist in reverse, talking about two things to me. It's talking about potential, okay? Because you do love this person. You do love this person, okay? And this represents your idealism that there could be potential in the relationship. It also represents your inability to manifest this either in this previous relationship or in any relationship in your past. Okay. This also talks about personal transformation. And it also talks about manipulation. I don't see that here though. I don't see that here though. I don't see that here though. So I think this alchemist in reverse is, is kind of a warning because the hermit in reverse talks about isolation and withdrawal. The alchemist in reverse being an inability to manifest isolation and withdrawal, right? These are major arcana. This is, this is a blockage in your life, okay? The blockage in your life is that... Hold on, I have something coming in here. Hold on. Okay, so the alchemist in reverse is an inability to manifest. The hermit in reverse is um, withdrawal. Okay, withdrawal. So what this is saying is that th this is supposed to not happen. I, I can't articulate it. I'm sorry. It's not supposed to happen. Um, withdrawal from the situation. It's not manifesting. It wasn't supposed to manifest in the first place to the Six of Cups in reverse. So don't to return to the past, okay? Don't return to the past is your advice. Inability to manifest, withdraw, don't return to the past. Sew that together however that makes sense to you, okay? But that's what they're saying, okay? Princess of Wands, because there's passionate little messages coming into you to the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands offering you all kinds of juiciness, all kinds of juiciness. With judgment, you got to make a decision. The decision that you make in this particular situation will directly dictate the rest of your future. It will. It will. It will directly dictate the rest of your future. That's how important this decision is. That's why we have a bazillion major arcanas all over this board. Okay, this is a life-altering 
decision for Taurus. And Taurus knows this, okay? Taurus knows this. We ain't stupid. <laughs> Taurus knows this, right? Hence the two of swords in reverse. This is coming out of, out, of, out of the fog, coming out of ambiguity, coming out of a crossroads and seeing things clearly. To the queen of pentacles in reverse. Seeing that in all honesty, You could never hold the title of the Queen of Pentacles position in this person's life because you've outgrown them. You've grown and you've changed. You've come to terms with things. Spirit says you've come to terms with things. Spirit says close this cycle out of your life. And Taurus, through the intuitiveness of the Hierophant, sees that, right? And the truth is, is that, is that you don't really want to be this person's Queen of Pentacles anymore. To the Eight of Cups. Abandoning the situation. Disappointed. Disappointedly abandoning a situation. Walking away. Six of Swords. A regretful but necessary transition. This is also a card about a rite of passage. What's the rite of passage? You've learned what you needed to learn here. Your job is done, right? Your job is done. You've learned what you needed to learn. They learned what they needed to learn. It's time to close out the cycle and move on. Six of Swords, that's you doing that. Five of Wands, just too much conflict. Too much conflict. Too much conflict to the Four of Wands in reverse. And it's not where you wanna put your roots. It's not where you wanna build your stability to the nine of cups because you looking out for you you looking out for you taurus you want happiness you want comfort you want satisfaction in the realm of your emotions to the ace of wands you're going to manifest a brand new passionate beginning in your life you are manifesting you are manifesting a passionate inspired new beginning in your life Eight of Swords, right? And you know that because you're in your head up here freaking out and you're in your head down here freaking out, right? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And Spirit comes in with the High Priestess and says, what's your intuition tell you to do? What does your intuition tell you to do? Because that is your higher power trying to lead you in the direction that you need to go. What does your intuition tell you? about the whole situation not how do you feel not what do you think not how do they feel or what do they think what does your intuition tell you the gut the red flags what does that tell you that's the question you have to ask yourself that's the question you have to ask yourself Death in reverse. Personal transformation. To the Ten of Swords in reverse. Healed and regenerated. The Two of Pentacles prioritized. Emperor in reverse. I'm not interested anymore. The Chariot. I'm moving forward. I have thought this through. And I am moving forward. To the King of Pentacles. Taurus. In their power. In their power. Hmm. Why? Because you recognize the King of Wands in reverse. You've been there. You've done that. You got the t-shirt and you don't need to go back. You have learned what you needed to learn because this devil that you are in love with is the king of wands in reverse, an egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic, orientated personality. Not a doctor. It's my opinion. That's what this card is. Okay? And you recognize it. Look, three of swords in reverse. And you accept it. You understand it. And you accept it. To the two of wands in reverse. 
You understand and accept that there is no future with this King of Wands in reverse. And you're not going to jeopardize your future for a love you used to have for this person. You don't see them the same anymore. The Queen of Pentacles. There's no future for me to be your Queen of Pentacles. There's no future. I'm better off on my own than I am with you. Why would I get with you? You're a shit show. You're the King of Wands in reverse. You're the devil. You have all kinds of fucked up issues. Why would I want to spend my future sorting through your bullshit? Because I love you? No. No. I can love somebody else. I promise you that. I promise you. <laughs> Give me enough time and I can love somebody else. I don't need this. That's what Taurus is saying. Hence the Hierophant in reverse. The reevaluation of your belief system. Seven of Cups. Options, choices, and decisions. What do you choose? Yourself, the Empress. That's who you choose. You choose yourself. You choose yourself. That's beautiful, Taurus. That is beautiful. So you choose yourself. Wow, 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 wow. Let's, uh, let's do a numerology oracle card, huh? So... Spirit, what are your closing comments? Your closing comments for Taurus. Teaching and learning. What are your closing comments for Taurus? And love partnership. All right, let's read these. I don't have my spectacles on, so y'all bear with me. Teaching and learning, card 57. Let's see, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which is a 3, which is teamwork and collaboration. Okay, card 57. 57. Y'all watching the video, my nails look, they're just all busted up. I didn't realize when I sat down. When I get the need to read, I just like, I just want to sit down and read. It's bad enough I got to set up all this bullshit, right? Um, so I forgot about my nails. I'm sorry. Okay. Teaching and Learning, card 57. This card indicates a time of significant learning and growth when the wisdom you will gain will be of great benefit to others too. There is much potential for you to teach what you've experienced. In fact, your life lessons are just as valuable as your academic knowledge. Therefore, every trial and tribulation can help you be of service to the world. Wow, that's exactly what happened here. You learned. You're being released with the world card. And you learned. And now it's time to go forward. This card encourages you to have faith in your ability to teach because teaching is simply passing on to others information they didn't already know. You probably already do this by sharing the lessons you've learned and the discoveries you've made with your colleagues, family members, children, or friends. So please don't underestimate the importance of what you have to say. Wow. That's true. Oh, love partnership. That's true. Okay. Um, and that does apply to this reading because what you have learned through this, um, you will be able to use in your next round of life. Right? 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 Love partnership 26. Six plus two is eight. Eight, and that is movement, action, communication, and swift change. Okay. 26. Love partnership. This card indicates a time when a romantic relationship is about to enter your life. Perhaps you are single and about to meet someone special, or maybe your current relationship is about to progress to a deeper level of understanding and commitment. Either way, love is just around the corner, provided you believe. In the meantime, you're being encouraged to focus on what you have to offer rather than what you'd like to receive. Focus on what you have to offer rather than what you'd like to receive. You have, you're bringing something to the table here, Taurus. You are. Can they ante up is the question. 
By doing so, you will attract a mutually loving relationship that serves both parties' needs. Not just the King of Wands in reverse, self-centered, egocentric needs, both parties' needs. Remember that you must believe that love exists in order to attract it into your life. And going back to the past does not believe that love will exist in your life. Okay? So work on any limiting beliefs or negative thoughts you may have about love. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, you guys, that is your reading. I do hope it helped you somehow, some way. Oh, 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 oh. My whole new little uh, Patreon page, right? The Patreon page. I almost forgot. So the Patreon page. For 20 bucks a month, you can subscribe to my Patreon page. And um, I don't know what everybody else does, but some clients have been telling me what other people do. Um, I'm not a big YouTube poster, okay? You're lucky if you get the once a month reading from me, okay? I'm not a big YouTube poster. I have other things going on. I read tarot cards full time, right? So um, I'm not going to tell you that you're going to get like a shit ton of extended videos because you're not. But what you will get for the 20 bucks a month is any extended videos that I put out there, of course, for free. Well, you know, for your subscription. And... um once a month, I want to have a group meeting, okay? A group meeting where um, a bunch of us get together on Zoom, right? And we're all there and we can all see each other and we Zoom and we just talk about tarot, the metaphysical, maybe throw some cards, maybe just just some little, th whatever, whatever we want to do, right? Just a group of us getting together and hanging out. And that's going to be the primary focus of the Patreon channel is once a month, we'll get together. And if it turns into like a big, huge thing, which I mean, who wants to hang out with me? I can't imagine that it would. But if it does turn into a big, huge thing, we'll divide it up into um, separate um, times and days, right? Where it's not overcrowded, okay? But that is the first thing. And if you're a Patreon member, I will give you a one hour tarot card reading for the price of a 45 minute tarot card reading. I will email you a special code, your individual special code that you and only you will be able to use when you um, order a reading, okay? Um, make an appointment, not order a reading like mail order, okay? Okay, so Patreon, um, the, the ch video chats, um, oh, and you will get, um, a special access to my Facebook page. Um, I don't have it up yet. I, I have my own personal Facebook page and that's it. I have a huge Instagram thing, right? But I only have my own first personal Facebook page. So everybody, if you so choose to join, can join this Facebook group right here and we'll be able to just share bullshit between each other on Facebook. Okay. And then the $20 a month for the, for the, um, the zoom call, the zoom meetings and, um, the, um, discount on the readings <laughs> covered that. And, uh, yeah, so those are the three. Oh, and I'm going to, I'm going to start doing a, a, a zoom meeting for people who want to learn the tarot too. So if, um, if you subscribe, you get all that stuff. Okay. But I'm not going to promise you extended readings because it's just not my thing. So anywho, if you want to do one-on-one -on -one with me and do stuff outside of YouTube and be a part of the Facebook group and all that kind of stuff, join the Patreon thing. And if you don't, it's cool too. I'll be back around once a month or so and um, we'll do this again. Okay. Namaste.